In my humble opinion, this disease should have been called Fanconi cancer instead of Fanconi anemia. When our daughters were diagnosed with FA way back in the 1980s, we were told that patients with this illness would probably not live past the first decade of life, certainly not past the second, and that the primary cause of death would be bone marrow failure. These patients simply could not produce enough blood cells to sustain life. The only cure for that part of the problem was a bone marrow transplant. But back then, the outcomes for transplant were really just awful. They were about 20%. So early on, we decided to focus quite a bit of our resources on this issue of bone marrow transplant. How could we improve those protocols? And today I'm happy to tell you that children with FA who are transplanted in that first decade of life have a 90% chance of survival, which is just huge. The end result is that they are living into adulthood. So we have lots of individuals in their 20s, 30s, 40s, and even older who are now part of our support group. Over half of our patients are adults. And many have had a chance now to go to college. Some have gotten married, few have had children. They have pursued careers, but there is another shoe that is going to drop, and that shoe is cancer. Several years ago, a group out of Germany studied this problem of cancer in our adult population and concluded that over half of FA patients will have experienced a cancer diagnosis by the time that individual reaches age 35. And the numbers just get worse as individuals get older and older. So this has become really our primary focus today. We need to find better ways to prevent these cancers, to find them when they're small enough to take them out surgically and so they won't come back again, and then to find better therapies for these malignancies. As you heard from Lynn, individuals with FA are fighting an increasingly difficult battle once they are diagnosed with squamous cell cancer. Thanks to your generous support, we here at FARF have focused our research priorities on fighting this battle in the best way we know how, which is through funding the best and most innovative research that will lead to better ways to prevent and cure this disease. So in 2020, FAR funded approximately $2 million in research progress focused on FA and FA cancer. There was remarkable progress despite global pandemic and we are encouraged and inspired by all the FA researchers who continue to show up and do the work for us during very trying times. Exciting advancements over this year include a seminal study from the Rockefeller University that identified key mutations that drive FA cancers for the first time. These mutations provide insight to potential targets for therapy. Other studies that we have funded focus on developing models to study FA cancer, such as one at the Oregon Health Sciences University. This study will provide a way to test therapies and models before patient clinical trials, which is what investigators in Spain have done as well. The group in Spain identified a potential drug that targets a key cell surface receptor in Fanconi cancer cells. And this drug will be moved into a clinical trial sometime next year. This is a huge advancement for FA research. So thank you for your support. Investigators at the University of Minnesota and Yale School of Medicine have identified potential combinatorial drugs that could be used to target FA cancer cells without harming the fragile FA normal cells. So all of these advancements are bringing us closer to understanding the fundamental biology of FA tumors and how to create less toxic cancer therapies or prevention modalities. But we still have a long way to go. FARF is well poised to be a leader in the global cancer research stage and awareness of the importance of studying Fanconi cancers as a way to understand all cancer in all people is gaining momentum. The work you make possible has the capacity to transform how we prevent and treat cancer in FA individuals and for so many others. Your generosity is truly saving lives. And on behalf of everyone at FARF and the whole FA community, thank you.